Hey friends, welcome back to my garden. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jen. I do cooking, canning, and food preservation videos every Tuesday, and I post vlogs on Friday. If that seems like something you'd be interested in, I hope you'll consider subscribing and sticking around. So today I just have a really quick tour of the garden to show you an update on what we planted last week for the fall. After our garden clean out, you know, we planted green beans, and we pulled a ton of weeds, so we're going to give everything a quick once over right after I get done showing you the flowers. As you can see, the okra is still going strong. It really loves the fact that the weather heated back up. It has been 100 degrees for about the last three or four days, and it's doing well. The sunflowers have decided to join the party. It's a little late, but I did plant them kind of late. And I'm sure the pollinators appreciate still having some flowers hanging around this late in the season. But these are gorgeous. And there are going to be a ton of sunflowers on this one in particular when they all finally start to open. My daughter's favorite flower is the sunflower. So she's been hanging out in the garden, taking pictures of the flowers. And I think that's really sweet that something in my garden brings her joy. Now here is a sugar snap pea. If you guys remember last week, I planted four sugar snap peas in each of the quad pots and so far only one has come up in each uh, quad but that's okay that uh, you know if I only get one plant that's fine too this was the pepper plant that was buried underneath that massive spoon tomato that I ripped out and I'm pleased to say that it did not get sunburned and it's actually putting on more peppers here, out of the eight squash I planted, I planted four yellow squash and four uh, zucchinis. I have three yellow squash that have come up so far and one zucchini. Um, they look really good. I haven't seen any signs of pest. I have been keeping a hawk eye on it because I do not need squash bugs. The squash bugs really ravaged the first round of zucchini and squash I tried to grow, and I got one of each, so I'm hoping for better this fall. There's the other sugar snap pea that has come up, and here you will see what used to be a little bit of cucumelons and a whole lot of cucumbers. And in the last couple of weeks, the cucumelons have literally smothered out the cucumbers. Growing cucumelons is not a problem for me. In fact, everywhere you look on this trellis, there are cucumelons. So I'm going to go out there with a bowl and sit on a bucket and try to harvest as many of these cucumelons as I can because there are just tons of them and there are so many on there right now that they're getting ripe and then falling off. So I know I am probably going to have volunteer cucumelons next year. So as soon as I'm able to get what's on there harvested, I'm going to be ripping out the cucumelons and the dead cucumber plants. Moving on down this bed, you'll see my pepper plants are doing great. Um, they appreciate the heat. They don't mind at all. Um, they're all putting on flowers, setting more peppers. In fact, some of these plants never really gave me many peppers to begin with, and now they have just tons on them. So... Uh, my poblano peppers, I harvested one funky little deformed poblano earlier this summer, and um, now there's a lot. The banana peppers are still doing their thing, and I do believe what was supposed to be jalapenos down here um, are actually hot banana peppers. They have purple on them. Does anybody know what kind of pepper looks like a banana pepper but has purple on it? As you can see, tons of poblanos on this plant. So I just might yet to get some nice big peppers uh, before, you know, the season is completely over. There's that pepper with the purple on it. Um, definitely not a jalapeno, that is for sure. <laughs> but it's not a total failure. I still got peppers. They just weren't necessarily what I wanted to begin with. This bed right here is the one that had all of those crazy tomatoes and my tomatillos in it. And last week we ripped all that out and cleaned up this bed and planted green beans. And at first I didn't think anything was coming up. And then upon closer inspection, I noticed little green beans. So happy birthday, little guys. I am really hopeful that I have enough time left in this season to get a couple of nice big harvests of green beans so that I can preserve them for the winter. 
That's all I have for you this week in the garden, friends. Hopefully next week the weather cooperates and we can get some more things planted. Until next time, happy gardening.